need more cow shares. We need more young farmers to produce raw milk. And I stand 100% behind James and Victoria and Sharon and trying to feed real food to real people to have real health. Yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to undergroundwellness.com. Today, I just need to vent. I just gotta, gotta let this one go because this is something that's been kind of like, it's kind of bubbling up, just like bubble, 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 bubble. And it just kind of hit a point the other day, and, and especially this last few days, because to be honest, I'm a little bit behind on this one. You know, I've been writing a book and stuff, and things that go on in the outside world just tend to not really come in when you're doing that. But a couple weeks ago, I got a lot of email about a raid that went on. I mean, a lot of email about it. And, you know, when you think about a raid, what do you think of? You think about like police coming and kicking somebody's door down like like you're watching cops or something, you know what I mean? And they go in there and there's drugs and there's like dirty people wearing wife beaters and stuff like that. And they all come out and they put them on the ground and all that. And then you see on the news, there's like big marijuana bundles and all kind of drugs and they're talking about how many pounds it is. Like that's what I think when I think raid. But with this raid that I'm talking about, the raid that went down in the Los Angeles area, on the Rossum Food Club, they confiscated real food. They confiscated raw milk, they confiscated cheese, they confiscated vegetables, they took people to jail and set their bail at over $100,000. We're talking about food, you know what I'm saying? Real food. I cannot like, I cannot understand this government obsession with raw milk and unpasteurized things and things that haven't been totally sterilized to death with irradiation and pasteurization and all kind of other weird stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's like if raw milk is really such a problem, where are the bodies? You know, that's what I know. I just want somebody to, to come over here and be like, hey man, look at these pictures of the bodies. Here are your raw milk bodies. Here's your proof that raw milk is actually dangerous for people. If you can't show me bodies, show me sick people. I want to see the raw milk sick people because I haven't heard of any. I've heard of ground beef sick people. I've seen uh, ground beef sick people. I've heard of turkey sick people. I've heard of egg sick people but I haven't heard of raw milk. And when I talk about the beef and the turkey, I'm talking about that nasty stuff. I'm talking about cows that, you know, like six inches deep in the, you know, in friggin' their own poo, eating antibiotics and hormones and genetically modified grains and nasty stuff like that that the government says is okay. So uh, it really is the most backwards thing. And, you know, my thing, I was talking to a couple of friends the other day and I was talking to Randy Roach about this on the Underground Wellness um, radio show. Here's my thing. I just want to be healthy. You know what I mean? That's all. I ain't asking for nothing else. No more, no less. I just want to be healthy. You guys out there want to be healthy, but why is it so freaking hard to be healthy? Why do we have to like, why do I have to have people on my radio show who make DVDs like exposés about how hard it is to get real food, how hard it is to be healthy? That's a damn shame. I mean, could you imagine like being our very recent, as a matter of fact, in fact, ancestors who drank raw milk, who ate real food, if they had to like take a time machine and come here and look at what's happening, they'd be like, what are you guys doing? Are you serious? It's like there's this war on the immune system. I had Mark McAfee, who is the... Um, who runs Organic Pastures Dairy that sells raw milk. He was on my radio show a couple years ago, and that's the way he put it. It's like there's a war on our immune system. Like, people want us to be sick because when we're sick, there's money to be made. You know, we get sick, and then we go to the doctor. And the thing about going to the doctor is that for a lot of us, a lot of us who are aware of the different types of doctors out there, a lot of us would just love to go to a naturopath, right? But the problem with that is that for a lot of naturopaths and a lot of insurance plans, insurance does not cover natural healing stuff like that. And so you've got to pay out of pocket. So you don't have the money and then you got to go to see your doctor and the doctor spends like five minutes with you and then writes you a prescription. But the thing is that the doctor writes you a prescription and I'm not saying all drugs are bad, but the doctor writes you a prescription for a drug that's toxic that's going to make things worse. That's just going to suppress the symptoms. So you get sick to go get a drug that makes you sicker. That is our medical system. 
And when we try to take back our health and we try to heal our immune systems and then try to strengthen our bodies to fight off some of this stuff, people come through the door kicking it down with guns and stuff saying, freeze, cuff them. It makes no freaking sense at all. I mean, if we had to like write a movie about this and put it in theaters, like people would think it was so out there, just so science fiction. It makes no sense. We're confiscating real milk. We're confiscating real food. We're, we're keeping people from being healthy. It's absolutely ridiculous. Where are the bodies? Where are they at? Somebody show me the raw milk bodies, please. It's like, it's such a game. It, we're just, it's just such a setup. I mean, if you guys ever seen, I like to, to quote Chris Rock. He was like, you know, we ain't cured nothing since polio. You know, he's joking, but he said that they get you on the comeback. We ain't trying to cure nothing anymore. We ain't trying to help people get healthier. We want them to buy drugs and get them on the comeback. And what I mean by that is when you run out of those drugs, you got to come back and get some more. And then you got the side effects from those drugs. So you got to get some more drugs for the side effects. And that's how it goes. But we can avoid that whole thing by just sticking to nature, eating healthy foods and, and plants that come from healthy soils and eating the animals that eat the healthy plants. And then we eat the healthy plants and we eat the, and we eat the healthy animals. That's how it's supposed to go. It's really that simple. But what happens? Our government, the ones with the raw milk problem, they're going to go ahead and subsidize chemical farms, give them money to grow their crops. They spray chemicals all over the, the, um, the crops and they reduce the nutritional value. Debatable, I know, but whatever. They screw up the environment. They screw up the soil. They cause water runoff. They put chemicals into our water supply. It kills all the life that's in the soil, like bacteria and mycorrhiza fungi and all that good stuff. Screws everything up. We get this garbage product that has things sprayed all over it we eat it then we get sick you know and then there's all this propaganda organics no better are you kidding me are you kidding me you really like poison on your food it's just like i said i'm venting i'm irritated there's an attack on our health there's an attack on our immune system. There's an attack on raw meat. There's an attack on our, our good natural dietary supplements. There's an attack on everything out there that's going to make you healthy. And you have to go out of your way and go through all of these roadblocks and blocks and obstacles for something that's supposed to be your birthright. It's ridiculous. It makes no sense at all. I was, just real quick before I let you go, I was revising. I got a chapter in my book called Just Eat Real Food. And there's a chapter, there's a section about real milk. And I was talking about, you know, how it's only um, legal in three states, California being one of them. Thank God. And um, I was writing about J.R. Crew. I think it's J.R. Crew. He was one of the, the founders of the Mayo Clinic. Right. And he wrote an article about how raw milk assists in the healing of many different diseases. Right. And I was thinking about that, you know, what I can take out and what I can add. And I was looking at it and I went, Whoa, it helps to cure all these different diseases. And I had to put in there, you know, something to the effect of with our government pharmaceutical complex, it's no wonder why it's illegal. You know what I'm saying? Anything that makes you healthier eventually becomes illegal and we got to go out of our way to get it. It's whack. It makes no sense. And to be honest, it just straight up pisses me off. It's a damn shame that I got to have a show called Underground Wellness. You know what I'm saying? Like, why can't it be mainstream? Underground Wellness. I love it, but it's just, again, it's a shame. So that's all I had to say today. Come back tomorrow. It'll be a little bit happier and jovial with a Friday fun day video, but had to let that one out. You know, we just want to be healthy. That's it. It's really that simple. I'm out, y'all.